You are probably going to hear a recurring theme in my life. I'm using my bread maker to save me time once again. A bread maker, everybody thinks, oh yeah, they can make bread, but they can do so much else also. You can use them to make homemade yogurt. You can make jams and jellies. You can make breads, sweet breads, rolls, pizza dough, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to fix some spaghetti tonight for dinner and I want to have some garlic bread sticks and I'm going to use the bread maker to save me time so I don't have to like knead the dough and wait on it to rise once or twice and all that stuff. I'll leave the recipe down in the comments. I'll also leave a link to this bread maker. I've had this bread maker Oh, I don't know. Since 2009 or 2013, I don't remember the exact year, I've made hundreds of loaves of bread in it and all kinds of other stuff. This thing just keeps on going. I highly recommend it. Anyways, I've got everything pre-measured out except for the yeast. And I'll leave down in the description this recipe. But it's very simple to do. My bread maker requires the liquids in first, then the dry ingredients, then the yeast lasts and I set it on dough only mode. I let the bread maker mix and rise the dough and then when it's done, I roll the dough out, cut it into breadstick strips, stick it in the oven to finish baking for 15 to 18 minutes, coat it with the topping and we're done. Saves me so much time. Many of you that watch my channel regularly know that I battled cancer. A couple years ago and I'm freezing to death all the time so I am dressed in a way that works for me so anyways my bread maker requires the liquid ingredients to go in first there's the water there's the butter then I want to do the salt sugar and garlic Then I'm going to do the flour. Then I'm going to create a dimple in the top of that to hold the yeast. The dimple goes almost all the way down to the liquid. When I see the liquid exposed, I cover it up slightly. Then I do the yeast. Two and a quarter teaspoons. I'm going to estimate the quarter. Something like that. Then we set this on dough only mode. After you plug it in to turn it on. Dough only on mine is menu 9. Takes an hour and 30 minutes. Then in an hour and 30 minutes, I'll bring you back. Going to have to excuse the cord here. I'll go ahead and show you how to make the topping for this these bread sticks. You want to melt two tablespoons of butter. Then you're going to do a half a teaspoon salt. You're going to do a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And one teaspoon of garlic powder. Then just give that a quick mix. Not sure if you can hear that, but the bread machine's going off to let me know that it's done. Now is a good time to go ahead and set your oven for 400 degrees. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and remove the dough. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare a floured surface to roll this out. Thank you. 
I usually use a cutting board and I always have flour sitting around waiting for this. Dump your flour or dump your dough out onto this. Then go ahead and add some flour to the top of it. I did wash my hands before I started this video. So basically what you're going to do, you're just going to knead this a couple of times on this board to kind of get this dough less sticky. Add more flour if you need to. I went ahead and got my hands cleaned up. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna roll this out to about seven or eight inches by 15 inches. Rectangle. Make sure your surface is floured. It starts to stick, add more flour. doesn't have to be perfect then you're going to take a lined dish a pizza cutter you're going to cut these about one inches wide give or take Add these to your pan. You can also take and try to get fancy with them and twist them. Next, put these in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes. Just as these are starting to brown, you want to go ahead and pull them out of the oven. Then put your butter, garlic, and spice mix on them pretty liberally. and place them back in the oven for a few minutes. And we are done. These are so, so good. Give them a try and let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.